The Scotty Cameron refurb is finally going to be finished. And because I can't sell it, for obvious reasons, I'm just gonna give it away. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video, uh, Scotty Cameron Refab. I pretty much started this probably about six weeks ago now, so apologies if you've been waiting to see the rest of this video. Essentially, I bought a Scotty Cameron putter in the peak of summer when everything was super expensive, and this thing was battered. I'll show you exactly the condition this was in. And over the last six weeks, I've been sanding it down by hand, which I'm still going to be doing, by the way. I just want to see, can you just refurb, polish something just by going buying some sandpaper? And I've learned a lot of what not to do as well as what can speed up process. If you watch the other video, I bought a Dremel recently. Don't use sandpaper or especially very coarse cool sandpaper on anything for that matter. But that's going to speed up a process, potentially not with putters, but wedges and everything else. You guys gave me tons of feedback and criticism in the last video that I did um, with that wedge. And I've taken it all in, and as I say, this isn't like a new business venture. This isn't something that I'm hoping to feed Marion Blake on, but at the same time, I thought it was quite interesting, and I know nothing. So if I can learn how to do these kind of things, protect the clubs, make them better aesthetically, and potentially in performance-wise, then I just want to share it with you. All these are just fun videos. As I said, I'm going to give it away in this video because, well, I've, this is a pro platinum <laughs> Scotty Cameron with no platinum left on it because I've stripped it all off. So I'm going to give it away. Just like this video, subscribe if you are new. We're really close to 40,000, which is just incredible. Share it in the WhatsApp group, comment down below. I'm going to pick a random comment down. Just put, just put what your favorite ever putter has ever been in the comment section down below to win this putter. And I said, I'll just post it to you. But the name of the game of today's video, I want to take all the paint out. So I'm going to use some nail polish. I would use acetone normally, but I haven't got any acetone at home. Nail polish to take all the paint out of the infills. We're going to fill it in. I bought this grip tonight off eBay. Don't ask me why I got this particular one. I just saw it, thought it looked relatively professional. It says custom golf detail paint, the professional's choice. So surely it's got to be good. I'm going to go white and black. I was going to go red, but I wouldn't be able to find a proper Scotty Cameron red to go with it. And I think if all I ever see is fake Scotty Camerons with a really off red paint and I just think they look naff. So I've decided to go on black as well as black's a good colour to use on other clubs going forward. So white on all the lettering, black on the circles here. We've got loads more sandpaper but all the way up to 1500 um, girt now as well. So again that's going to help polish everything up and just make it look as good as possible. Because it hasn't got any platinum on, platinum on it, I imagine this thing will rust over time. Just keep it in a humidifier or humid. Um, or what are the cigar boxes called? Humidor. That's what you'll need to keep it in. You'll need to keep it in a humidor for the rest of its life. As I say, I want to find a way that you can obviously protect rust going forward. As well as loads of other bits I need to get better at when it comes to refurbing clubs. But that's the name of the game. Let's get all the paint off. Let's get it shiny. Let's get it sent out to one of you guys. Okay, 14 cotton buds and half the wife's nail polish, and we are there. Highly advise doing this before you start like buffering or polishing your putter, as I've had to use like the metal club cleaner to get most of it out. Just took it, just made it so much quicker and easier, and then everything just soaked in basically nail polish and then gave it a quick scrub. It actually looks really good, by the way just without um, any paint at all, just like the nude finish. I think I might leave these for someone else to colour in. They can colour it in their own colours because I think it's just quite subjective. Everything else is going to be done white. I'm going to wet and dry this down now so it's super, super shiny and then uh, fill in every letter and decal with white paint. I'm going to leave these three blank because I still think it looked quite good, just blank. But then if whoever wins this can um, uh, obviously paint in whatever colour they so choose. Right, let's get polishing. And the polishing is finally finished. 
I think I'm gonna leave it there. I mean, there's no question it looks completely different to when we start out. Um, uh, I'm really happy with the finish. The thing is, the more you polish something, the more <laughs> the imperfections come out. So I've kind of like polished it and then gone back and sanded and polished it. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna have to leave it there. It's getting dark. I wanna get the lettering done. But overall, looks really cool. I'd be uh, enthralled with this. What a word. If there was one way that I could securely cure this from rusting, a simple way. If there is a way that you guys know of that can be done to pretty much any metal that you can just coat it and stop it rusting, which I imagine there probably isn't. But then that's why I want to get like brass putters, ping putters, because you could probably do the same process and it won't rust as this at this current stage. If you went and played with it, got it wet, left it in the bag, it will rust. But overall, it looks really cool. And it's been a fun product project to do whilst I've been at home in that lockdown. Right, let's paint it. Let's finish this bad boy off. Right guys, we are done. Bit fiddly, I definitely need to practice that and I imagine a lot of you will probably tell me off for using kitchen towel anyway. But the paint itself is pretty class. It's really easy to use to be honest. Paintbrush probably would be best. Let it dry, uh, probably acetone over the top of it just to get rid of any excess, potentially polish it up again because it's really easy to smudge that white paint as you could probably see on the bottom there. Overall, Really rate the paint. Don't know if it makes any difference any other paints that are out there, but this is the first one I've obviously ever used and it makes a massive difference to the overall look of the putter. As I say, from what it used to look like to now, chalk and cheese. And then uh, the three dots at the top there to be customized by one of you. It's getting a bit dark now, so sorry for the um, camera quality. Scotty finished. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. See you guys there.